presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only a fertile for the words that come from love. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 401, Nasdaq's up 158, S&P's up 49, gold contract down 550, trading at 1987 an ounce. We have silver up seven cents, twenty-three dollars ninety-six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck ninety-six, seventy-two dollars eighty-two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down eleven ticks, trading one fourteen eighteen. The thirty-year. Down 10 at 128.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 298 ticks, trading 102.862. The Euro's at 108. The Yen's at 137. The British Pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, first, I'm going to do the daily first because what is happening out here is that we're getting volume in the SPY. So if you take a look at this, you get an expansion of volume, that little swing point up there, you know, that is laying out that 417 only has 62 million. Well, we've already done 62 million. Your other swing uh, does have the 100 million, but I suspect that's what it's trying to get into right now. So the number you really want to watch real closely out here today is going to be, let's see, that's yeah, 415.26. And what that is, is that that's the low of the high. Because what we have done is this, that the high of that spike is 417.62. Now, if this is going to go after it, it should be able to close into that bar, which is the 415.26, particularly because you have an expansion of volume. Okay? So, now that's... That's how it's set up on the daily right now. But keep your num that, that number. Yeah, let me write this number down, actually. 417, 415.26, yeah. 415.26. Okay, so now we go into the E-minis. You get a different story here in the E-minis. Not, 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 yeah, you, you do have a different story, because what you have is this, is that you don't have any juice up here at the top. Doesn't mean you won't get it, you know? Because this bar here, now see, this will get interesting right here. Because see this bar here, the bar that we're just coming, you can see up the highs, you didn't have any juice. It come down. But what we didn't have is a high volume bar on the way down also. And when you look at this, it's like, okay, kind of right there is the last place that we had volume. And the high of that on the way up today, because it's been trending higher all day, is uh, 41.63 and 41.55 is the bottom. So what we just did here, you got the expansion of volume on this bar, so this next bar is going to be crucial. That's the real bottom line because we'll see if you're going to get a follow-through of the bar, then you're going to get up to those highs. We go into the NQs. The NQs are set up differently, no doubt about that. The, the way the NQs are set up, they, they have strength. The NQs, even when you take a look at this, you're going to see the differences. You know, we had volume all the way up to where it just come back from. See this? That's... That bar there, that is uh, 633, and we just got down to 619, and it rejected it. So we'll see how that one shakes out. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at uh, GC. We take a look at the gold contract out here. 
Gold contracts down 540. You got almost 100. Well, you do have 195,000 contracts traded. And this baby is trading at 1987. And the bottom of this consolidation is 1980. So this is getting dangerous. You know, that's the bottom line inside the gold market that wants to crack. We go to the note and bond market. Note and bonds, they still want higher price. You're going to see them we're pulling back here. You only got 1.2 million contracts inside of the 10 year. That's not a lot of contract volume. They go into the bottom of the consolidation. We take a look at this. And that bottom of the consolidation has monster volume. It's, we're coming into 2 million contracts. You're coming, well, way over here is even heavier, 4 million contracts. So that's still saying that wants higher price. And then we go right into this US dollar index. And the dollar index, bottom line, you know, it, it has been looking for higher price. It's basically getting higher price. We'll see how this shakes out. Um, you know, it's, it's launched, that's for sure. You know, the first swing point up here is 105.853. And intraday, it's been can kind of hanging tough. We just gave up a few points, a few ticks. Yeah, you can just see, you just, yeah, in this, this morning, as it went higher, and you can see, you know, you, you, when we get up that 10, we, that, that was 103, 114, the high today. So when you take a look at that, you're 400 ticks off of that level. The real question is, is going to be like, which way does that dollar go as the next 60, 60 minutes as we come into this market? Some of the high volume equities out here today. Tesla's moving. That's up seven and a half dollars. You get advanced micro up two and a half dollars. Amazon's up by two and a half bucks. Let's go look at Amazon. That must be up at the top of that swing point right now. Yep, there's the swing. Top of that swing is uh, three, four, 114. You're at 115. Let's take a look. Put that on a weekly for a second. Yeah. It's going to be over it on the weekly, but you have a, the other contraction there, but bottom line is it's over it. Some of the other higher volume equities out here today. And we'll see what it looks like. We're going to have some volume in the market today. Uh, NVIDIA, it's nonstop, man. It's up $9. That's over 300 bucks right now. You have... Uh, Let's see. Intel's up 25 cents. We got uh, Wells Fargo up 213. Let's see. Let's go look at JP Morgan, see if these banks they have any. We know they get price under them. Let's see if they got any juice, any, any volume underneath them. No, you don't. So they're still in the consolidation. JP Morgan is up 395, but you can see the volume's dying on the vine. You come down with 12 million, you go up at 7 million. You get out with 14 million, you get out with uh, 27 million. Yeah, there's not, there's not much there. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials, let's go inside the Dow Industrials actually to see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow out here today. Point-wise, what you have, you have uh, Home Depot, uh, that's pretty wild. They, they came out with numbers, they traded it down, now it's uh, up and above. That's they're putting 59 positive points in the Goldman's putting 56. You got Boeing putting 43. Uh, United held 33, taken away from it. Amgen minus 23. Merck minus 11. That's about it. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC. Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up at 397. You get the Nasdaq up 164. S&Ps are up uh, 51. So we get a question as to uh, where would I shot the spy. So what I would do is that I would first let this play out because what, what you have here is this, 64 million. So you're going into 64 million. You're only going into 53 million. Oh, no, you're going into 62, but we're already done 54. So the, that's why this number is crucial today about the 415.26. If the 415.26 doesn't hold, meaning if we, we pull back on the close, then you get some action, meaning that you, could, you can pull the trigger. But if that closes above that 415.26, which it should when it has this kind of volume, then you have to let this go right to the top. And when I say right to the top, that it wouldn't be the top of this swing point. That would tell me that it's going to go to the top of this 418. Because the, the, the smallest swing point is 417.62. So we'll see how this thing shakes out coming into the close. And let me just look at this intraday here for a second. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to hold. You just had a spike. See, if you get, when you get a bar like we just had, not this, not this bar, the, the bar prior to this, if that bar doesn't hold, that's going to be a little problem coming into the close. Because that would be, let me just look at this. That's probably a... Yeah, that was a 0.23 of the move. But this this bar here, not the one we're on now, the prior one, is almost a validation that, no, this market wants to stay higher. And when you get a market that is talking like that, and then all of a sudden it can't stay higher, it's a problem. Uh, Microsoft, we take a look at Microsoft out here. Microsoft is at all-time highs. The low is 213, the high is 314. That's today. Yeah, this is what I was talking about yesterday, about that every day you uh, you get a smaller price spread. This is how tops are made. This is getting smaller every day. Let me put this back and put it on monthly for a second. Yeah, on a monthly. Look at it on a monthly. Look at this. That's <laughs> so on a monthly two months ago, we did 748 million. Last month, we did 550. This month, we're already at three, 302. And 302, we take a look at 302. Let me just get the calendar in front of me for a second. So there's 21 trading days approximately in a month. And where are you, calendar? 
Let's see where we're at. Okay, so. No, you get 10 days left. Well, 10, well, that, that still only gets you 600. Versus, well, versus 550. Yeah, that's, that's getting tired. That's the bottom line. That's getting tired. And it's, all, it's also coming into uh, flack. Because when we came down, we came down with some flack. You came down with there. Uh, look at that. We came, we came off that high. It came off that high with 900,000. 900 million, rather. So that is, some, that is some major numbers. Let's go to Home Depot and take a look at Home Depot. This thing flipped right around. So Home Depot came up with numbers yesterday. Now, this is what's intriguing about this. Now, this is a complex ABC down. <laughs> Look at this. This is wild. You see, you see the run today? You see, okay, so the run today is 6 million up. We came down with 12 million. You broke the swing point. What's going to happen here is that even on the weekly, you're still going to have a break of the swing point. You're going to have it on volume. All of the above. Look at this. It already has it on volume. You needed uh, 22 million, even if I take the bigger one. Before that, 26 million, you already have 23. So this is an ABC down. It's got, it, it turns into a complex one, no doubt about that. But this is when things get tricky, man. Um, and Home Depot, yeah, Home Depot doesn't have a big uh, shot position. It's only 1.34%. That's nothing when you actually look at it. Uh, Google, Google, no doubt, has been on the move. The highs to the lows, the low is 83, the highs 123. This is the last 12 months, and, you know, we're approaching it. We're at the 121.75 right now. And this is also, you know, see, when you get these long consolidations and you break them, the longer the consolidation, the stronger the market. You know, now that's going on the way up. The longer the consolidation and you break downtown, guess what? You're going to go fast and furious because you can see once we broke topside, once we broke the 107, it only took uh, six days to get to 121. So that's pretty intense in the context of how many shares are outstanding inside of Google. We put this on a monthly also, and, you know, this is, this is the normal bounce. That's all I'd say with this, because when you take a look at the highs to the lows of this, right now you just got over the 50% retracement on a counter trend bounce, meaning you, you bounce 50 off the lows. So we'll see where that is ac actually going to take us. Um, the 10-year right now, the 10-year is trading at... Uh, 3.5, the low has been, in the last three months, has been 3.3, 3. 3. the high has been 4. You know, we'll see where that goes. Uh, let's go to a couple, let's go to Lenar, a couple of these home builders. So, this is a sideways move. I listened to Tommy talk about these this morning. Look at this, this is at the highs. Oh, my God. Let me pull this back. Yeah. Now, see, this is going to be interesting. The reason I'm saying that is that this is what happened. Yeah, this is exactly what happened. Not exactly, but this is what did happen in 2007, 2008. That you made a high, you pulled back, it came all the way back up again, and then fell apart. Yeah, I'll bring it all the way back so you can see it, because I remember this well, because I was shot them, and... I had to close the position, and then they fell apart. Yeah, see this one right here? Whoops, one second. Nope. Over there. See these positions right here? They had reached, what was that, 68? It came down to 52 and got back to 66. And then, see you later, 66, I think it went down to two bucks. What did it go back to? Yeah, $2.40. No, three, yeah, 240, $2.40. 40 so picture, now this has just gone from $2.40 back up to 114. Is that what, you talk about a round trip, right? Was that a round trip or what, man? You gotta love it. Hey, we'll see where it's going to shake out. There's no doubt that, um, you know, the bottom line, people still want new homes, you know. And, you know, it depends where these folks are building. That's what it depends on in a monster way. We go over to those S&Ps again. 
We're going to get some movement here, evidently, into the close, because that was just a really fast move both ways. When I started the program, the S&Ps just had gone up, uh, yeah, have gone up 10 points when I started the program. We just gave up the 10 points. And how many minutes here? Oh, yeah. No, this, this, is, this, one's, this one's down at these, uh, these lower prices, because the expansion of volume is happening right now. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You have the Dow. Dow Industrials up 350. NASDAQ up 148. S&P's up 43. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrial is up 365, NASDAQ's up 146, SPs are up 44. So let's go inside the indices for a sec. Take a look at the volume there. That's pretty good volume. You get the Rambus at 500 million in the NYSE, so that's going to come in with volume, and the composite will come in with volume with 3.6. See, we've been doing, you see that four, four last two days, 4.1, 4.1. The composite normally would be banging out 4.8. It should be banging out that kind of number. Um, if we do take a look at this, now, you can see in the composite, this is quite a break in the composite. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, that's, that's a break topside, man. 
Let me put this on a monthly for a second. Yeah, I mean, this broke out of that consolidation, and that's what's pretty wild, because uh, the higher number in this is quite high. <laughs> I mean, the next swing, well, yeah, no, the next swing's 13,183. Um, I mean, the NASDAQ can do that pretty quickly. Now, if we take a look at what it's actually done from highs to lows, you, oh, look at that again. Ooh, baby, you're just reaching... Um, the 0.382 in the NASDAQ. So we know at those, at those levels, when you get to those levels, okay, the bottom line, you can blow through them in a second, you know, but the bottom line, has been, it's been a hard time getting through them. That's how this has been laying out for quite some time now. We gotta take a look at the inside of the NVDA. I gotta take a look at NVIDIA here because this has just been one rocket ship. So the low in NVIDIA is 108, the high is 301.46. Now that's today. We take a look at this. Yeah. Put this on a monthly. Oh, it's not the all-time high. I did this yesterday, man. Holy cow. So just take your time with NVIDIA, man. The bottom line, it wants to get up there. Doesn't have far to go. You know, the... This is probably going to be, you know, we'll see. has 40 more points, 45 more points to get to a tie. And what you have right now is uh, your 301, the highs, 346. Now, you can also see, just like the contraction is dramatic here. I mean, you know, three months ago, you did 1.1 billion. Last month, you did 700 million. This month, you've done 476 million. Yeah, so, and you're going against, you gotta remember, you're not only, you're going against the billion, almost billion 800,000. And even in its best month, that's where it dropped off. It only got to a price point of that 278. So those, that's where patience comes in, you know, in order to basically wait to those, those levels, see what happens at those levels, see if you get a rejection of lower price, I mean of higher price. If you don't, you know, you don't pull the trigger. If you get the rejection of higher price, you hit the higher price. If you have the lower volume, and particularly in this particular case, it looks like it's gonna be a lot lower volume, and you get the rejection, then you're in business. Uh, we get over, let's go take a look at the uh, note and bond market. So. Actually, we can go to the TLT, because I know folks like trading the TLT. So if this is the 20-year plus ETF. The low in this one for the year is 91. The high is 120. And you can see this is just filling the gap. Yeah. The gap there is 101.33. We hit the 100 yesterday. So it filled it yesterday. So this is showing, so this is saying, okay, this is, this is gonna be really cool. This is saying that we're gonna see, I'm gonna go back to the 10 year for a second, because the 10 year has been pulling back with light volume, but this is saying that even tomorrow, <laughs> the next day, we're gonna be going higher once again. Now it doesn't look to me at this particular point, we're not rejecting the lower price on the 10. Maybe we'll get right to the bottom of the consolidation. But that's the way that TLT is set up. That TLT is set up that you got to the bottom of it. You jumped higher today. You filled the gap. You jumped higher. This still wants higher price. This thing wants back up into that uh, 109 area. So this is, this is going to be the, the real battle uh, meaning in, inside of the Fed, uh, as to are they going to go up on rates on the, what is it? Uh, calendar, I think it's the 14th of June or the 9th of June. The 14th, 14th of June. We'll see, we'll see how that baby shakes out if that's where this is running.
We go into the oil market. The oil caught a bit out here today. Let's take a look at oil. So oil's up a buck eighty four. They get 246,000 contracts. Yeah, it's light volume. Yeah. You know, you, you can see this. You're coming down with 490,000 contracts. You're going up with 246. But you can see how oil loves to trade into consolidations. That's the bottom line. They just love. Look at this. I mean, this is back six months. You know, you can, you can see we... The bottom, 71, 25. So what it is trying to do, it's trying to get in the higher range. You know, if you take a look at this, you just put that line up there. You can see it went below it twice. You're above it right now. The longer it does stay above it, that would be, be saying that, okay, the longer it stays above it, you could get to higher price. No doubt about that. If we go take a look at uh, ExxonMobil, XOM. Yeah, no traction. It's up two bucks, but that's not traction. Exxon still wants 98. You know, put this on a monthly. Yeah, same situ same situation here. Yeah. But it, X, this is still in a higher range. You know, when you take a look at this, you're going to see as long as Exxon doesn't break down into the uh, 92 area. No, actually, it's the 101. Yeah, as long as it doesn't break down to the 101, you know, you could you see this. You can see, I have this on a monthly, no, a weekly. You can see it went sideways for about 20 weeks, does the next level. It's been sideways now about 30 weeks. And, you know, the bottom line is that those consolidations are really cool because what you get inside the consolidation is that you look at the top of the consolidation, look at the bottom of the consolidation, you, you try to see whether are we pushing with volume on the way up or are we pushing with volume on the way down. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 350, Nasdaq's up 142, S&P's up 42. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 389, NASDAQ's up 153, S&Ps are up uh, 47. Let's go take a look at Accenture, one of our tigers out here. So you get the, oh, no, one second. It's a, ACN, yeah. So we have the low of uh, 242, the highs 322. It's trading at uh, 285 right now. So you get some juice in this today. We get, you know, you get price movement for sure. So I mean, I suspect this is going to go up and try to basically get into the swing. When you get this close to the swing, the swing on this one is 288, and I expect that you know we're at 285. We'll get to that swing. They're coming, next time they come out with the numbers is in June 23rd, you know. So when you get something like this, uh, bottom line, that, you know, you get that close to it, yeah, I could, I could picture it getting it. The reason being uh, also is that what you do have is that uh, this is, let's see, I mean, this was a, this is a, I believe this was a, I think this is spun off from HB. I'm not sure. The company lives in a wide range of specialty capabilities, client solutions, all industries worldwide, operates a business, consulting, technology, outsourcing. It's a big company, that's for sure. Dollar wise, let's see what they do dollar wise. Revenues. Yeah, <laughs> slightly. Just imagine some of these companies, right? So, we have 52 weeks in a year, and they take in $64 billion. My God, amazing. That is an amazing number. There's no doubt about that. Uh, debt ceiling wise, with, so the news is debt ceiling wise is that uh, everything's gonna be fine. Um, <laughs> let's see, so, yeah. Uh, so the president expressed confidence that negotiations would reach an agreement to avoid a default, even as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy criticized his decision to travel to Japan for the G7. Uh, Biden said, uh, I'm confident that we'll get the government on, on the budget and that American will not default. Biden said Wednesday, shortly before leaving for Hiroshima, uh, Japan. On Capitol Hill, McCarty and other Republican lawmakers criticized Biden for his decision to travel with the House Speaker labeling the president a big obstacle to an agreement. Well, that's politics, folks. That's how we go. I, I'm telling you, this is going down to the last day that it can be done. And, you know, my, my take still on this, on this is that what we're actually going to see is that the market is going to make them react. That's, that's how this thing is going to shake out. We, we don't know where it's going to come from. But that's where I suspect. This is like a, this is a, this, so picture something. This is a replay of 2011. If you remember, 2011, it was Obama and the White House and Biden. So they've already got experience with this about, you know, how intense it can actually get, how close it can actually get the whole ball of wax. So, and that was about as close as you could get because they, you know, they, they have plenty of ways that they can shift around 
monies that everyone continues to get paid until they can't. And last time, that's, that's exactly what they did. That, you know, some agencies didn't have money, so they shifted an agency here to make sure that was paid. That's, that's how they did it to the very end, and then bang, they got it, and once they got it, everyone was all set. Because I think what ended up happening is that, if I remember correctly, um, it was on a Friday, and over the weekend, they did tell so many government workers not to come to work on Monday. And so it took a couple more days for them to get back, to get the buildings opened again and all of this thing happening again. So hopefully it's not going to come down to that. But guess what? It could. Let's go take a look at the XAU, the HUI, because yesterday we were talking about the aspect. My take is that this thing's going to have quite a pullback. And, you know, if you get the gold report, you know, we, we've been doing really well in the gold report. I it had some great positions. We sold them on Monday. Because my take here is that we are going down into, okay, XAU. Get the volume on this. Yeah, so yesterday, we had a small expansion of volume, nothing heavy. But my take, see on this XAU, it looks to me, that's the last time with volume on the way up. And that's where I think we're going. We're at 130, it's the 126.24. That's how this is laying out. You broke the consolidation, and you broke it with volume. We had uh, 21 million shares. Yeah, you broke it with 15. So your next, that's a, that's a natural, you know, you break something like that, and you break it on volume. And then this will be a deep retracement. That's the other side of that. That'll, it's going to be a deep retracement. That'll be, uh, well... It's almost a 0.618 retracement. Actually, it's, it's at just above a 0.618 retracement. Now, what happens, <coughs> excuse me, as you know, if it's a, <coughs> a 0.618 retracement, what ends up happening is that that's saying that the next time that you're going up to the highs, you will not go break those highs. That's how that works also. You know, if we go to the gold bugs index, we take a look at the gold bugs index and do the same exercise This also broke it. Yep, it broke it. And it broke it with volume, too. And you can see we did 16 million. Oh, well, 17 million. No, no, that's a closer call. Well, 11 million, too. But it's, it's broken at this point. And you can see when you come down to that this lower level. And in the gold bugs index, which is set up a little bit differently, the gold bugs index, that's just going to be like a 50% retracement of the move, which is a much better deal. So when you take a look at that, actually, if, they, if we only come down to 50% retracement inside of the HUI, what that sets up is that you can get to a higher high because a, a 0.382 or 5.0 retracement is a normal retracement in a market that wants to go up. You know, you go, you go up 10 points, you pull back 5, that's a market that wants to go up. You go up 10, pull back 3.82, same deal, wants to go up. You go up 10, you pull back, you know, uh, to the 382, meaning you pull back that many points, 6.18. That's a market that the next time that it goes up, most times it's only going to go to the top of that level. That's how that works. We go. Let's go take a look at that chart of the Dow Industrials because the, there's no doubt the Dow right now has some juice in it. Yeah, not really, though. It, it, this is where, when you get the big numbers, it's intriguing, right? You're up 400 bucks, but you take a look at the shot, it doesn't mean much. That we, were, we were here five days ago, you know? That's where they, we came back down, so. Still a choppy market, you know, outside of the NASDAQ. The, the NASDAQ looks to me like it already broke. You know, broke topside, that is. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up 409. We get the NASDAQ up 166. S&Ps, they just went up another 10 points. We're up uh, 50 right now. So that's gone back and forth. <laughs> you got to love it. Gone back and forth to basically 10 handles uh, three times so thus far. And this time you did get volume again. You get volume on this bar, man, on the way up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 401, Nasdaq's up 163, S&Ps are up uh, 50. And let's get over and take a look at a few more of these banks. Okay, so BAC... Be interesting to see if they, uh, you know, now Bank of America, that's, that's, you know, that's a little base. That's got a little juice behind it. And that swing at uh, 30 bucks and your 28 has some volume in it. WFC, Wells Fargo. It's amazing Wells Fa what Wells Fargo has got away with, but the bottom line is that they have. <laughs> um, same deal. Except Wells Fargo, now Wells Fargo doesn't have high, a swing high. Meaning, well, it has, it has a swing high, but I'm talking about a swing high with volume. We got to look at Citigroup. C Citigroup, a little juice in it. Uh, Pac West. Now, this is one I got to look at. Okay, so these are the ones that were going upside down. Nothing there still in Pac West, that's for sure. KRE, the banking index. This is the ETF for the banking index. Yeah, that's still not down the way down. You know, that, it's got some juice out here today. But you can, well, let's put this back. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, you still got a high volume low on here. I put this on a monthly. <coughs> <coughs> I 
It definitely has. <coughs> oh, one second. Sorry about that, folks. This definitely has a high volume low. What this had, you know, it's amazing here, too, is that we were always talking about that March 2020 area, you know, from the COVID. It not only dug into it, I mean, it dug into a monster way. Monster way. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at them, folks.